what's going on? Um, Anthony here, and today I'm going to go over how to make a simple, cheap jerk rig for waterfowl hunting. Um, I'm actually going out tomorrow to do a little bit of um, waterfowl hunting, and um, figured I'd rig up a jerk rig um, to put a little bit more motion in the decoys. So um, follow along, and I'll show you how I do this. All right, guys. So the basic items um, you're going to need is some some cord, um, you know, trot line material. This is some um, camo um, cord I got a couple years ago. It was actually in my um, blind bag. So um, I already had that. A bungee cord. Also these, um, these decoy swivels. I had some of those as well. Piece of PVC pop, which is going to be your handle, and then an anchor. Most of this stuff I already had around the house. I did have to pick up a bungee because I didn't, the few that I've got um, are either the rubber flat bungees or do not have the, the plastic coated metal or the metal hooks. You definitely want to make sure you either have plastic coated or the metal hooks. And then um, I picked up this anchor at Academy. Um, it was in the kayak with the kayak all um, kayak supplies. I think it was like 10 bucks. So. Um, with all of this, this will um, make the jug creek. So, first thing I'm going to do is we're going to take our bungee, and I've already crimped these a little bit, just not all the way down, and we're going to crimp those down to our anchor, and then we're going to tie a slip knot. in one end of our line to the other side of the bungee and we're just going to pull that down nice and tight and then also just for some added security here I'm going to go ahead and crimp down the other side of that bungee as well way our line's not going off there. So the first thing, depending on the depth of your water, um, I'm going to pull, cause my, bun my bungee is four feet, so I'm going to pull off about another um, six feet to give me about a ten foot um, depth of my line here, so I do have my, my measuring tape, and I'm not going to be 100% accurate on all this. Um, just going to keep it close. So, once I get to about that six foot area, I am going to um, mark it, and the way, way I'm going to do that. I'm just going to tie me a simple loop in there that I can untie pretty easily. I'm not going to get it too tight. So, um, and then we're going to measure from that point to about another four or five, four, three, four or five feet, um, and do the same. And those, where these loops is going to be is actually going to be the point that I tie my decoys. Uh, my decoy clips into my line and um, I could use these loops and hook them straight into the loop but I would prefer to tie them um, that way if we're just a simple knot that way I can make some adjustments um, as needed and I'm going to put enough loops in here for I think four decoys on this one um, so like I said, keeping it, keeping it simple, keeping it cheap. Um, and then. Um, to 
depending on where you put in your last loop for your last decoy, um, you can mark it with tape, you could do loops, any way to, that's basically just for um, marking where my um, swivels are going to connect in, and then depending on from where your last decoy is at to how far you're going to be to your blind, will depend on how much line I am going to go ahead, since this ain't got a whole lot of line left on it, I'm just going to finish off this foil um, for um, this jerk rig, that way I've got some extra if I have an area where I am a little farther from where my decoys are at or whatnot. So, um, next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and slide our swivels um, on the line. Like I said, I am setting this one up for four ducks. You can do more if you want to do more. Um, I will tie those in here in a minute. So the next thing I've done is I took this CVC pipe and I drilled the hole in it um, close to the size, just a hair bigger than what the line that I'm using for this jerk rig. And I'm going to feed that through and tie a knot in it and pull it back inside the, the piece of PVC and um, that will be my um, handle for my jerk rig as well as my um, spoil to roll up any excess line as well. I've got that basically pulled that back in and now we have a handle. So we're going to slowly roll this back up on our handle and we will tie our swivels in as we get to those loops that we made earlier. Like I say, I tied these purposely so I could get them back untied to easily to mark my points. So I'm going to push three of the swivels um, beyond this and then um, the other, the last one I'm going to tie in right here in my loop. So. simple jerk rig, packs up small, we can throw that right in our blind bag, we get out there in the morning, drop our anchor, our bungee, and then it's just a matter of um, snapping our decoys into the swivels and pull it back to the blind and you get a nice handle to do a jerk rig. So guys, um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and um, to for more hunting, fishing, um, recipes, tips, tricks um, from us 
at the um, group, the group with Raw Hunting. Um, also, please follow us on Facebook at Raw Hunting 89. Um, we appreciate the support, and until next time, um, happy hunting.